show you how to make my orange grove cake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Yeah, it's Jolene, the sugar baker. She's bringing Trailer Park lifestyle to the globe. So come on inside, don't be shy. Cause Jolene can't wait to meet you guys. She is the queen of the park with gossip news and lots of other parts yeah jolene sugar baker sharing with the world she is one budget-minded kind of girl with lots of cheap fashion the passion at the park the passion at the park yeah the passion at the park she's dropping in on the neighbors jolene's world because she is one budget-minded kind of girl Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Biker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's that time of year that all the pretty oranges are coming out, and you know, there's only so many oranges that you can eat. Some people like to get you the gift boxes and it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to eat another orange. So today I'm going to take oranges and turn them into a cake. And it's called my Orange Grove Cake. And it's a great cake with a buttery, orangey topping with some of the, you know, the rind of the orange on top. It looks sure pretty and it sure is just orangey and bright and great now that the fall is coming around the corner. It will really brighten up your day. It's my Orange Grove Cake, up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my Orange Grove Cake will surely brighten someone's day because it just has a great taste of orange. And you can use all those oranges because some people are getting gift boxes and you just have tons of oranges in your refrigerator that you have to use up. So why not make a cake? I've got my stand mixer here and I've got a stick of butter and I'm gonna stick that right on into the bowl just like that. I got one third cup of sugar and that goes right on in there and I've got two eggs and what we're gonna do is beat this together till it's nice light and fluffy so I'm gonna do that and check back with you in just a moment. There we go we've got that all creamed together and I've got one third cup of orange marmalade and we're just going to dump that right on into the bowl just like that. I'm using a store brand. You can use whatever's on sale. Just mix that around just a little bit. And what we're going to do is add two teaspoons of baking powder right on into the mixture just like that. There we go. And now I've got three-fourth cup of orange juice. Go ahead and dunk that on in there just like that and give that a spin around. Now, to make the color really pop in the cake, I'm using 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. And I know that sounds strange, but look how nice and pretty orangish yellow that is. And that's really gonna make our cake pop and people will not know that it's in there. And I've got 1 and 1 third cup of flour. And I've also got, let's see here, this is one third cup of milk. I'm gonna add this slowly, a little bit of flour and a little bit of milk until this is well mixed together. And it's kinda look, it, well, it looks curdled right now. That's okay, that's just the orange rind. I really want our cake to pop with the orange flavor. So I've got a citrus zester, which I got at the dollar store. And what I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon of the orange peel to it. Don't get the white part because that's the better part. So go ahead and get about a teaspoon of that and mix that on in. On this recipe, you can use an 11 by 7 baking pan that you've sprayed out and floured out or a 9 inch baking pan. So I'm using the longer pan today and wow, smell our batter. That smells just like sunshine and I see all the orange pieces in it. This surely is going to be great. We're going to spread this out into the pan. There we go. 
just spreading that out. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and spreading this all nice. This mixture is just, it's aromatherapy is what this is. It smells so good. It's a definite pickup and it smells so bright with that orange flavor and that, oh look at those orange pieces in it. There we go. Spreading that out. Now, depending on the pan that you put it in, it's going to bake for about 30 or 35 minutes or so. So, set your timer and pop it in now. Just an update from the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. It looks like this cake bakes better at about 20 to 25 minutes. You really have to keep your eye on it, especially if you use that longer pan. It bakes a little bit faster that way, but just so it's done and it's not like gooey in the center, you don't want that. You want to make sure that it's done, so keep an eye on it. Now we're going to make a glaze that goes up on the Orange Grove cake, and we're going to do that up on the stove top. I've got a saucepan here, and I've got three tablespoons of butter right here in the saucepan. I'm also going to add to that one-third cup of regular sugar right on into the um, actual uh, saucepan, and this is three tablespoons of orange juice right on into the bowl just like that. Now, you've got your orange again, and you're going to have to get your little... Uh, let's see, to get the strips off of it, and you're just going to grate the orange in nice pretty strips. You're going to get about two tablespoons of this into the mixture, and what you're going to do is put this up on the stove top, and you're going to bring it up to a boil, and then what's going to happen is you're going to fish out the orange pieces so you can arrange them on the cake later, but you're just going to have to bring it up to a boil just to melt everything down and set it aside for when the cake cools down a little bit later. I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now that our Orange Grove cake has cooled off a little bit, you can pop it out of there and put it up on a nice paper doily or something like that. I just keep it in the pan. I poke holes in it with a stick and then I take the glaze and just pour it out up on top so it soaks right on in and then I cut them into squares. And like I said before, you can fish out the orange and make it look all pretty on top, but it, it does okay when you just pour it. So go ahead and pour the glaze on it now. And there you have it, my Orange Grove cake. And look how pretty. That looks just like sunshine on a plate. And I see the orange in it and also the candied orange peel that we made on top with the glaze. And it's nice and pretty and yellow. We used the turmeric for that. And I see the orange flakes on top too. I just can't wait to try this. Mmm. Taste that orange and sugary flavor. And... Wow, that's such a moist cake, and mm, that marmalade really makes it too. It just tastes like a fresh orange. It's such a great cake, and I hope you get a chance to make my Orange Grove cake. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And, of course, add me on Google+. I'm there too. There'll be some more cooking shows right around the corner, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever it is. And of course, share this recipe with their, your friends, because this uh, Orange Grove cake is so good. I hope to see y'all back real soon. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Store at trailerparkstore.com